Salam. The first thing that should be said about the dirty war on Yemen is that it is not really led by the Saudis, it's led by Washington. It is a North American project through their agents, the Saudis, to destroy an independent people, a rebellious people who established the first and only real revolution of the so-called Arab Spring. The attack on the Yemeni people and their uh, political development is also part of this broader project which the US called 15 years ago a new Middle East, an idea of a new Middle East where the US would control all of the regimes, all of the peoples, all of the states in the region without any exceptions. And we know from Pentagon doctrine in the 21st century that this means destroying disconnectedness, which means not tolerating states and peoples that remain outside the integration they see as part of their own regime, part of their own empire. And secondly, the idea of full spectrum dominance, where the US wants to control not simply strategically whole regions, but also economically and in terms of communication and so on. The other significance of the the war on Yemen is that, of course, Yemen sits strategically in between the two key agents of Washington in the West Asian region, that is to say, between the Saudis and the Israelis. And, of course, there is significant cooperation between the Israelis and the Saudis in their attempts to try and, uh, if not overthrow the Ansar Ali government in Yemen, then break up and fragment the state into several pieces, similar to the program they had for Iraq, for Syria, for many other parts of the world, for example.